In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your KuCoin wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to KuCoin, then you will need your wallet address. And it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if in doubt, then you should send a small amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds, so you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So to find your wallet address on KuCoin, you will need to log in and then you want to choose deposit crypto, which you can find here. Depending on which page you're on, it may also be on the left hand side. Once you're on this screen, you can pick the coin you want to deposit by selecting this drop down here where you can either scroll through the list or use the search box at the top. I'm going to pick USDT. Some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, with USDT, I have the option to pick any of these and it's important to check which network you are sending your crypto on. If you select the wrong network, you risk losing your crypto. So I'm going to pick the ERC20 Ethereum network. So now you can see your wallet address for this specific crypto and network. If you change networks, for example, to the Tron network, then this wallet address will also change. To copy your address, you can press the copy button below this. Alternatively, to get the QR code, you can press the button to the right of this and scan the QR code with a mobile device. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you've got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And now that you've got your wallet address, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.